हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज रश्मि सिन्हा एंड मोस्ट वेलकम अगेन ऑन माई चैनल एंड हियर वी आर बैक ऑन माई वीडियो एंड द टूडे इज वीडियो एज यू कैन सी द स्क्रीन ऑफ दिस लैपटॉप एंड दैट इज द की बोर्ड स्पेशल की सो वी विल बी ओनली टॉकिंग ऑन की बोर्ड एंड यू कैन सी द की बोर्ड ऑफ द लैपटॉप एज यू ऑल आर हैविंग एट होम सो बिफोर स्टार्ट दिस चैप्टर आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस द नेम्स ऑफ द कीज दैट is you can see some alphabet keys which is not in a order and see how it is appear when you press any key button the alphabet comes on the screen the only difficulty is they are not in a order so you have to practice how to keep your finger on a alphabet keys so you use or all the 10 fingers along with the space bar and keeping on them and type like this this is the best easy way so number of alphabet keys are 26 because a to z and the second button we are talking on that is number key number keys are on above the alphabet keys you can see 0 to 9 total 10 buttons and when you press them these this by this way the numbers come on the screen which is these keys are placed in our order so there is no problem in using them the third key which we are going to talk on that is special keys and special keys are the special symbols like semicolon it comes like colon it comes then like uh, slash a strix at the rate at the rate then hash percent exponent sign and sign okay and sign and then uh, some brackets like small bracket okay so these are the special keys which you will get on your key buttons on the top of number key these special uh, symbols or characters will be used for special purpose now i'll show you how to use a question mark on a screen so for that we are writing a question first suppose a question i'm writing okay now we have to put a question mark and the process of putting question mark is press the shift button and the question mark button together when you press see the question mark comes similarly we'll use the full stop now we'll reach to the next button that is space bar space bar is the longest button on the keyboard and this is we'll use as you can see this question is typed suppose uh, we are typing one more line and there is a word typed hi um how's you how are you so for these we keep a space and every time we'll press the space bar button in between using the space between the words okay now we'll move to the task uh, while you have already as you have already learned to print how to use the alphabets or the numbers then space bar your task is to write your own name and roll number and house number and any information you you know about you but see in this screen we are writing a sentence and suppose you want to um, go to the next line as first line is written we have 26 alphabets and we have to come to the second line and my cursor is placed at the end of the sentence so to move the cursor down we'll press enter button when you press the enter button the cursor comes down and you will easily type another sentence here now so and we have two enter buttons you can see the two enter buttons on keyboard of both the sides we have two enter buttons now we reach to the next key that is arrow key we have four arrow keys to move up down left and right these arrow keys are in four sided up down left and right this is used to bring the cursor up down left and right now i'll show you how to use the backspace suppose this sentence is written and i have mistaken in the word type 
okay oops the d is mistaken we have to rub this we'll use a backspace where which is present here you can see the backspace is written you have to press and simply you'll find this d is removed so this is the backspace work backspace erases the word or letter or sentence which which will be the left side of the cursor now i'll show you the use of the delete key suppose we have written something and now we want to delete that so the right side things bring the cursor to the right side um we have to take this cursor to the type take it to the type so suppose you don't need this line and this is all wrong you have to select this line and simply go to the delete button of your keyboard keyboard and when you press the c the line is removed now so this is the use of delete key which will erase the right side of written things now we'll use some punctuation symbols you can see the punctuation symbols like uh, we'll type something first and i'll show you the punctuation see this is a sentence india is a diverse country now you have to you pun punctuate this sentence what will you do you have to put a full stop first where the full stop is see the full stop is here we have to press the full stop and now it is punctuated so we'll use uh, like suppose we'll write one question mark type of a question uh, line suppose uh, who are you this is a sentence you have to at the end of the sentence you need a question mark so where the question mark is you have to press a question mark and it comes on the screen so these are the punctuation keys we will use to for the clarity of english language and these punctuation marks helps to write things now we have some combination keys like uh, shift key which is also two in number then alt key alt shift key and control button control button uh, you can see control button is here we have a alt control and these are the combination buttons which can't work alone you have to take suppose you want to press and control plus home control plus home will take you to the beginning of the page see your cursor reaches to the beginning of the page see the by back it will back to the screen now a uh, few one more thing left that is the caps lock see the caps lock button is the most important button of the keyboard when you press caps lock key the light is on it shows now your capital letter will come so if you'll type anything the letter will come in a caps lock or in a capital form if you do not want this capital letter you have to again press to back and you'll get a again small letters on your screen so i'm going to type some combination keys you can see on my screen ctrl plus end now i'm showing you some combination keys so the first key is ctrl plus end and the use of this button is to take the document to the end the second uh, key is ctrl plus home this will take you to the beginning of the page third combination button is alt plus f4 alt plus f4 will use to close the screen uh, and help you to back okay and the last is ctrl plus alt plus f4 this button is the very magical button will help you to turn off or to shut down your key Uh, to the computer so this is all about this chapter and i hope either for the beginners those who are not so much okay with the keyboard they will be definitely come to know how the keyboard functions and this lesson you want to draw something so i'm going to show you one easy drawing of keyboard so if you want to draw image of a keyboard you may take any easy keyboard drawing which you are comfortable but remember you must mention these key button which we discussed like alphabet keys special keys combination keys number keys and punctuation keys these are the most important keys if you don't want to mark all the key buttons do one thing you may mark minim minimum two to three buttons of each keys so that will be also comfortable and easy for us 
so draw a picture along with this hope you like my video and if you have any query and doubt you must go to my comment section to ask so for thank you for watching and have a nice day bye bye